There are a lot of mysteries on Earth, and the Bermuda Triangle is one of the more persistent ones. The Bermuda Triangle, an enigmatic triangle around Puerto Rico, Florida, and Bermuda, has long piqued interest among people all over the world. This location is known as the Devil's Triangle, due to the unexplained ship and aircraft disappearances that have fueled mythological speculation and historical intrigue. Science, myth, and history come together to create an enduring fascination, even in the face of scientific ideas that provide natural explanations. This mystery resists simple explanation, resulting in a bewildering riddle that captures people's attention to this day. Despite a thorough examination of its mythological stories, historical occurrences, and scientific justifications, the North Atlantic Bermuda Triangle phenomena continues to be mysterious and intriguing. Due to a string of unexplained disappearances that happened in the area in the middle of the 20th century, the Bermuda Triangle became well known. The disappearance of Flight 19, a squadron of five American Navy aircraft, during a training exercise in December 1945 is one of the most well-known events. Before going missing without a trace, the pilots reported experiencing compass problems, confusion, and an inability to pinpoint their whereabouts. To add to the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle, the rescue plane that was dispatched to find them vanished as well. Other examples include the 1918 disappearance of the enormous collier ship SS Cyclops, which was carrying over 300 people and manganese ore. One of the biggest maritime mysteries of the day was left behind when the ship disappeared without putting out any distress signals. These historical events, along with others, stoked public curiosity about the Bermuda Triangle and enhanced its perception as a dangerous and mysterious area. The enigma surrounding the Bermuda Triangle transcends historical occurrences and encompasses legendary interpretations that frequently incorporate paranormal components. Some beliefs link the disappearances to alien activities or underwater civilizations, suggesting that the disappearing ships and aircraft are the work of advanced creatures living deep within the ocean. Though compelling, these outlandish stories add to the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle and lack scientific legitimacy. A different well-known myth holds that the Bermuda Triangle is a doorway to parallel realms or another dimension. This idea, which has been popularized by books, documentaries, and movies, is reminiscent of science fiction. Even though these theories are interesting, the scientific community rejects them because they lack empirical support. Scientists have worked hard to provide logical answers for the supposed anomalies in the Bermuda Triangle, even in the midst of myths and folklore. The existence of methane hydrates on the ocean floor is one well-recognized scientific theory. Large-scale releases of methane hydrates, sometimes referred to as methane ice, can cause bubbles to emerge from the ocean floor. Due to the water's decreased density as a result of these bubbles, mishaps may result from ships losing buoyancy and aircraft losing lift. Strong and erratic currents in the area are taken into account by another scientific viewpoint. The Bermuda Triangle is subject to turbulence due to the Gulf Stream, a strong ocean current. These currents can seriously hinder navigation and increase the risk of marine and aircraft mishaps, especially when paired with the area's frequent abrupt weather changes. For many years, the Bermuda Triangle has captivated people's curiosity and remained a mystery. Mythological explanations have added a dimension of fascination that goes beyond fact, while historical happenings have contributed to its mystique. In an attempt to shed light on the Bermuda Triangle, scientific theories based on actual data attribute the phenomenon to elements of nature like strong ocean currents and methane hydrates. The mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle endures, serving as a constant reminder of the thin boundary separating reality from fiction as we investigate and comprehend the intricacies of the natural world. The Bermuda Triangle continues to be a fascinating subject that begs for conjecture, 
research, and a search for the truth, regardless of one's inclination toward the excitement of the unknown or toward logical solutions. We trawl through the dark seas of science, mythology, and history in search of solutions, attempting to discover the mysteries contained within the Devil's Triangle. We are ready to dive. I'm a treasure hunter, and I'm on the show called Cooper's Treasure. Cooper's Treasure is about a very dear friend of mine named Astronaut Gordon Cooper, whom I met through my father. I inherited a series of charts and files based on information that he got during his space flight. The information has led to several discoveries of shipwrecks. I want, I want to check out the bottom of this reef. Most recently, we were investigating the site uh, based on the information that Gordon gave me from one of his files. When we were diving down in the submarine, we came across this area, this very beautiful reef area, but we noticed something very different about it. There were five arms that were coming out of the wall portion of this very deep reef. They were going horizontal. Coral doesn't grow horizontal, so that was the first thing that struck me. My assumption after looking and seeing these very large projectiles coming out of the wall is that we're, we've discovered something that's not a shipwreck. Didn't appear to be nature made. What it was I can't explain. There are theories behind this maybe parts of an ancient civilization. What led us to believe that even more is that we found roads, what appear to be roads on top of this mound-like formation. There was a mound, several arms sticking out of a wall on three different locations. We even found what we believe to be uh, remnants of structure. It could even be something related to a very ancient civilization that must have existed more than 12,500 years ago. It is possible that we've come across a very, very ancient civilization. Whether it has something to do with Atlantis is yet to be proved. Thank you very much for watching. I'd humbly request you to subscribe the channel so that I can bring more presentations to you.